the Clydesdale Rider. I am at the Discovery Ski Resort, or the bike park, I should say, um, in Phillipsburg, Montana. So pretty excited to get up on here and see how this goes. I will say that I definitely had some issues finding the place. So originally, I went up to the ski resort where the main lodge is at, because I've been up here to ski before, and I kind of know the area a little bit. And there's a big sign on the on the gate that says bike park you can't access bike park from here so i took a picture of the directions which i'll you know put up and it basically took me the wrong way so um there was a turn it said to turn left on rumsey road i think it was we actually have to turn right there's no left so i just kept driving looking for it finally when i got down there i said i'm not going to use this i'll just use google maps because I was back in service, I typed in Discovery Bike Park and it took me up a private driveway, which also did not um, take me to where I needed to go. So I found the road that it originally said to turn left on, I turned right on it, and then Google rerouted me and took me another wrong way. So luckily there was a sign um, halfway up the road that actually showed me where I needed to go. So I finally made it up here. Um, it's a really nice day today. I was really surprised there's some snow on the mountain. Um, they got some rain, or we got rain last night in town, so um, I'm assuming they got some snow. So hopefully it's not too muddy or too snowy when we get up there, but I'm pretty excited to get on the chairlift and check it out. So, let's go! In this video here you can see the wonderful background um, of the ski resort, which is pretty cool. I do have to apologize for the bumpiness of the beginning of this video. Um, this is kind of when I started to realize I should probably buy a new GoPro that the uh, stability isn't that great, but it does go away in just a second. So enjoy the video.
So at this point, I heard my bike just making a strange and weird noise over my bike and try to figure out what was going on. But at this point, I had to call it quits as the noise wouldn't go away and my brakes were acting kind of funky. Well, that's the end of my day. So on my second run uh, coming down, my brakes started uh, stuttering, being a little funky. So not entirely sure what happened. I uh, spent about three hours trying to fix them in the parking lot. Uh, a couple of people were there um, that were riding, kind of checked it out as well. They couldn't figure it out. So I'm gonna have to take the bike into the shop and see what's going on. Everything broke on my second run, so I got a run and a half in before I started having issues. And I went to the, uh, the bottom there and talked to the guys and asked for a rain check. And they didn't even know what a rain check is. Like, they were like, huh, what? What are you talking about? And really confused. So I asked them if they would like, you know, give me a pass for a different day or a ticket for a different day, or if I could do like a half day because I paid for a full day and I was literally there an hour and 10 minutes maybe. And they basically said, nope. They said, sorry, you know, no, no, nothing else. So a little disappointed in the, the customer service there. I know it wasn't their fault that my bike broke, but I mean, I drove two hours to get here and spent uh, $38 and for their, their ticket, for their full day ticket. And then on top of that, I couldn't even find the place. So uh, overall, kind of a crappy experience. The trail itself were pretty fun. I'd like to go check it out again, but I'm not entirely sure I will, you know, being the fact that, you know, they wouldn't even work with me on, uh, you know, the ticket or, you know, a half day refund or something. So uh, really bummed out about that. They do have some easy, easier trails to the left, which are pretty fun, nice, fast, flowy. I will say um, the jumps are a little scary because you can't see what's on the other side. They have some like crazy jumps um, that I would like to have done if I had gone down a few more times. But that first time on that trail, you're trying to figure out what's going on and what you're doing and where the landing spot is. So um, had I had more opportunity to ride the trail, then I probably would have been able to uh, you know, do some of those jumps that I saw, you know, the landing zone on that backside. So uh, if you go up there, make sure you take your, your, your time, uh, do a couple runs slow and, and get to know the trails before you run it. So um, until next ride, talk to you later.